We love it here. I love it's easy to I see can. why Amy and Stephen Crumsick <laughs> love it in Kittery. We moved up here from Boston. From its adorable downtown area to the ocean views, Maine's oldest town has a lot to offer, especially when it comes to raising a family. I wanted more. And that's what they got. It's this community that keeps us here, the connection that we have with our neighbors, with the people, with the, um, it's different than Boston. We feel like we're part of something. Besides feeling a part of a vibrant coastal community, another layer to life here in Kittery they feel a part of is its rich history. Not only the maritime heritage with the naval shipyard close by, but one man who helped shape the United States. General William Whipple. He fought not just with his pen, but with his sword. Kittery's famous resident was a seaman, soldier, and a statesman. But he was also a signer of the Declaration of Independence. D. Allen Kerr lives in Kittery and is working to make sure Whipple and other historical highlights of the town are getting the attention he feels they deserve. Not only with the you know, visitors, but even with the residents. Including students who begin to learn about Whipple in the third grade, a lesson Annie Crumsick remembers. I went to his old house. Lots of fishing boats came from the back of his house. Teaching Kittery's young people about the town's important past gives Kerr hope future generations will understand and appreciate the significance. That's the perfect age for kids to learn that kind of thing. He even spoke to his daughter's third grade class about the general. Born and raised in this area who actually signed that Declaration of Independence and there's like like that, you know, direct connection to them. And if the Crumb Six didn't already feel like they lived somewhere special, they can see the markers funded through local donations throughout town, like General Whipple's right in front of their house. I think it's terrific. It's like get a little education for the town including myself. Before he settled across the river in Portsmouth. As a member of the New Hampshire congressional delegation that he was sent to the Second Continental Congress and signed the Declaration of Independence. The general and the crumb six would have been neighbors as he lived on their street, now named Whipple Road. Well, it just brings it home. In Kittery, Morgan Sturdivant, WTW News 8.